What's going on YouTube? I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. On this channel, I cover fashion, fragrances, a little bit of lifestyle and grooming content as well. So if you're into that, make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you enable notifications by hitting the bell icon as well. So that way, uh, anytime I upload a new video, you'll get notified. Guys, I have a treat for you. It's actually, of course, been a treat to myself as well, because I'm going to be covering the brand new release. I, honestly, I don't think it's been released yet, uh, but it will be released soon. So I am fortunate enough to, peep, to be one of probably the small few people that have this already in their possession. Um, the newest one from Amwise, this is Jubilation Man 40. I think that's actually the way uh, that you uh, say that. Uh, listen, this is from the straight collection. Amwise over the past two years or so has been coming out with some straight versions of some of the original fragrances that I would probably say have been some of their top sellers, uh, Reflection Man, uh, Interlude Man, and now we have, uh, of course, from Jubilation 25, Jubilation Man 40. So I'm going to get into it. I'm going to run the intro, give you guys my initial thoughts on this. So if you want to see what I have to say about this fragrance, you know the routine, keep it locked right here. Let's get it. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's jump into the video. Now, first and foremost, um, I was actually in Neiman's, uh, Neiman Marcus, probably about three weeks ago. And one of the sales associates there told me that, you know, Amwaj is coming out with a new straight version of Jubilation 25. And I'm like, I got to get it. You know, it's the first thing I said. I have to get my hands on that because... Um, when I talk about Amwaj, of course, you guys that have been following me for a while know, probably know it's one of my favorite niche brands. Um, I have probably 30 plus uh, Amwaj fragrances. Most, the majority of them I purchase with my own money. So I'm a fan of the brand. And Jubilation 25 is certainly in my top three uh, Amwaj fragrances. So excited to hear that they were coming out with the X Straight. I was even more excited. Uh, when I got an email that was got a shipping, uh, that I had a fragrance being shipped to me. And I've been doing this for a while now. So when something comes from Amwaj, because they have sent me a couple here over the past, you know, two years, I would say. Um, probably directly from the company, probably three fragrances. And they sent me this one. But I got that shipping notification. I'm like, is this what I think it is? It was. So I'm thinking to myself, could this be Jubilation Man 40? And it arrives and... It is. So shout out to Amwaj. As I said, guy, they did send me this. So um, let's just get into it, man. Here's the box. For those of you that care about presentation, that's the box. Um, it gives some uh, information on the back, um, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, this was done by Bertrand Duchefort. Um, so we do have the actual notes on the back here. Um, so, uh, again, Bertrand Duchefort uh, did this fragrance, and um, I can, you know, speak highly of Bertrand Duchefort because he actually uh, was one of the perfumers on one of my fragrances as well. So, shout out to Bertrand Duchefort. Definitely one of the best in the game. But this is the box. Um, when you remove the sleeve, this is what you're getting. Back. And then you open the box, and the fragrance will rest securely in this velvety textured uh, material on the inside of the box so that's what we have for the presentation as relates to the box so now let's take a look at the actual bottle all right guys now the original jubilation 25 of course i have that here because again i love this one uh one of my favorites from the amwise range of fragrances and here is the new jubilation 40. it's a gorgeous bottle so here is the bottle um look at that i mean it's just gorgeous guys the bottle is absolutely beautiful when you look at it uh these new bottles from the straight collection has this kind of psychedelic look on it this is reflection 45 which of course you guys know i love this one as well so uh really love the presentation on these 
And I will tell you guys, I had a chance to go to a, a, a gala event this weekend and I wore this and I am utterly impressed with this fragrance. I absolutely love it. I love it as much as I love the original Jubilation 25. All right, guys, when you first spray this and I'll go ahead and spray it on my hand again so you can see the sprayer here. If it'll process, I don't know if that'll. Sprayer is nice. Oh man. <laughs> so the way it smells, first and foremost, again, I absolutely love this fragrance. I love it. I love it. Just like I loved the Reflection 45, I love Jubilation Man 40. And it's called that, by the way, Jubilation Man 40, because there's 40% oil in this fragrance. Okay, so it goes a little bit past the straight to parfums that usually have about that 25% oil concentration in it. So anyway. What do you get from this, Compar comparatively speaking to the original? First and foremost, one thing that I love about it, you can definitely tell that it's Jubilation 25. All right, so they did not stray away from the uh, original DNA too far. Uh, I, I don't think I would have been happy with that because I love that fragrance so much. But you still get that juicy blackberry note. And that's something that for it kind of for me personally, I'm not speaking for anybody else. That would have been a deal breaker for me if there was no blackberry in here, but it is still very prominent in this fragrance. Now, for me with the original Jubilation 25, there was this really sweet citrusy orange note that you got with that blackberry, and then you started to get the honey in there that really formed this really memorable uh, accord for me in the original. Now here, the orange is still present, but not as present. But there is the addition of a black currant note that adds a slight tartness to the fragrance in the opening. I also get a lot more oud. I think oud was actually a, uh, a note in the original as well, but it is more prominent here. Uh, to me, um, that is a way, uh, when you start going with notes like leather, you start going with uh, oud, uh, cipri oil, cipri oil is in this as well. When you start adding those kind of notes to a fragrance, you can definitely make it a more intense, a more deep, a more richer, uh, more bolder interpretation of the original. And I think that's kind of sort of what they did here because within that first five minutes, I really pick up a more prominent oud. Now, for those of you that don't like oud, especially when it is, as some people would term oud to be animalic uh, or barnyard even, that's not what you get here. It is blended to perfection, but it is a more prominent, does have a more prominent uh, presence in Jubilation Man 40 than you got with Jubilation um, 25. But like I said, at the end of the day, you can definitely tell that the original DNA of Jubilation 25 is still present and they made it more bold um, uh, without compromising uh, what I would call the integrity of a fragrance that most people deem to probably be one of their favorites from the brand. All right, guys, now the fragrance starts to transition from that opening to, uh, and it starts to dry down, you get more into those mid notes. Uh, another note that made um, the original Jubilation 25 so popular was that note of honey, all right? So you still get this presence of honey, although when I initially smelled it, it was done in a different way. And I think the note is called Scotch Broom, if I'm not mistaken, which is a floral note, uh, but it gives this honeyed vibe. It's kind of like when you go outside and uh, when it's in springtime and bees are kind of attracted to that kind of honey pollen kind of smell. You guys know what I'm talking about in the air. That's kind of sort of what this smells like. So you get honey, but it's done in a different way here. But it is so, like I said, magnificently blended together with the resins that start to come in here. That spicy cinnamon, which is another note that I really love uh, from the original Jubilation 25, is all still present. And again, this is this is just, guys, you got to smell it. It's breathtaking. It is truly breathtaking. You have to get your nose on this fragrance, man. Um, like I said, if you're a fan of the original Jubilation 25, I'm pretty certain you're going to love Jubilation Man 40 as well because it is everything that the original was. But again, it's a little bit richer, a little bit bolder. Uh, fragrance and honestly it lasts a little bit longer too and that's not a bad thing because I got great performance from the original but this goes definitely at 10 plus hours 10 plus hours I wore it, wore it earlier in the day before I went to the gala and then I wore it again that night and um, I mean the tuxedo that I had on is still like I just put it on 
I mean, 40% oil concentration is going to stick around for a long time, guys. I mean, you know, folks get into that conversation about performance and things of that nature, but honestly, it's not always the case, but oftentimes when you have uh, a fragrance that use this high, a percentage of uh, fragrance oils in a fragrance, and they use high quality ingredients, you nine times out of 10 are going to get a fragrance that really performs great, especially when you have notes like oud, and when it starts to dry down these really uh, warm, sweet, resinous notes as well that are in here, um, labdanum and things of that nature. It's going to perform and you definitely get great performance out of this fragrance, man. I am so excited to have this in my collection. I'm going to wear it some more and, um, you know, come back and give you guys a more, even more in-depth review of this because I really think it deserves it. But just kind of off my initial uh, wearing of this, uh, initial two wearings of this and um, having a chance to actually wear it out to an event, you know, I would definitely say is one that I am beyond happy to have in my collection. I'm a huge fan of the original, and I'm even more of a fan of the new Jubilation Man 40. But that's all I have for you guys today. Again, this was kind of my initial uh, impressions of the new Jubilation Man 40. Have you had a chance to smell it yet? I know there were some samples uh, that were sent out. I know some folks attended Scent Explore where they think they unveiled the fragrance and people probably had a chance to get their nose on it. So if you smelled it, what are your thoughts on the new Jubilation Man 40? I would love to hear from you down in the comment section. Now, as always, I sincerely appreciate you guys' time and attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do, and I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget to take a few moments to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use the information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.